Who is the suspect Mohammed Mirah? Neighbors describe him as a quiet, bearded young man just 23 years old. Born in France to Algerian parents, he worked as a mechanic in a suburb of Toulouse. At 1 a.m. on Wednesday, just hours before police surrounded him, Marat is believed to have called the France 24 television channel, claiming to be a member of Al-Qaeda in France. Eba Colonda was the journalist who picked up the phone. He was extremely well-spoken, very polite, seemed to know exactly what message he wanted to get across, in the sense that for him, when the, uh, that these acts were not only necessary, but that they were to uphold the honor of Islam. His motivation for the murders? He told France 24 a litany of what he saw as injustices against Islam, from the French forces in Afghanistan to the plight of Palestinian children, even France's banning of the niqab, the Muslim face veil. Police say the call was credible. Marah was also known to Toulouse police as a petty criminal. In and out of prison, numerous counts of violence, including robbery. Last month, he was charged with reckless driving. His lawyer at the time described him as a complex personality that had been slowly radicalized. French authorities now believe that may have happened during his time in the French prison system, where he may have been introduced to Forsan Aliza, a jihadist group banned by the French government earlier this year. This video, uploaded to YouTube by the group, shows what appears to be paramilitary-style training. Marah also told his lawyers he had spent time in Afghanistan. Kandahar prison records show that A. Mohammed Marah was arrested in 2007 and was serving a three-year jail sentence for planting explosives. That prisoner escaped in a 2008 Taliban-organized jailbreak, but there is no record of that prisoner being a French national. When he returned to France, prosecutors say Marat became increasingly isolated at home, watching videos of decapitations and other extreme violence. In the hours-long standoff, Marat told police he saw himself as a mujahideen, a holy warrior, that he wanted to bring France, quote, to its knees. French authorities now say they had been monitoring Marat and his jihadist activities for some time. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.